Hey guys, it's John from John's DIY Playground. Today I want to talk to you about this new Lippert, also known as LCI One Connect system, and Grand Design, which is another RV manufacturer, calls it Compass Connect. Uh, that's the RV I have, but I have an older school RV, and it does not have this system. However, I was at an owner's rally recently, and I discovered that a previous inner um, do-it-yourself video I had made showing how to dim your LED lights both in your interior um, on your awning and also on your nose cap light uh, no longer would work per my original video and I'll link to that video up above for those with models with probably uh, built in 2020 or 2021 or before that would work just fine but I'll show you the differences in this video show you how you would have to dim the lights it's still possible but it's definitely a little bit more advanced um, I'm not going to show too much detail on that today I'll keep this short but in let's talk about what this new system has it's a smartphone enabled system so you actually download an app and you can control your lights and your other various things like slide outs from your phone which is nice. Um, it may or may not include a touchscreen control inside the RV. Uh, most of the fifth wheels will have the uh, screen. Looks kind of like a kind of somewhere with a screen size between an iPhone and an iPad, somewhere maybe like a seven inch screen or so. May or may not include soft touch buttons. If you don't have that touch screen, you may have these capacitive touch style buttons. Um, just makes it not as uh, I don't know it feels more advanced I guess is what you would say but also you can still have what looks like the conventional control panel that I showed in my old school video where you think you just have rocker switches to replace then you go to put in the dimmer switch and it doesn't work so that's a big problem and let me show you what's going on here now the next slide um, the old school design before Lippert came out with this and Grand Design started installing it along with other manufacturers, it was just a simple analog circuit where you had your uh, controller, your battery uh, providing the 12 volts. You had a rocker switch over here and then what happened is you would put in the dimmer switch in its place and we'd send variable amounts of voltage to the LED bulbs whether it be to your interior lights, your awning lights, nose cap, what have you. And that worked fine, it worked great. But come 2020, 2021, they started putting in the Lippert system. So this now, instead of having the 12 volts going over to the rocker switch and being hooked directly to your LEDs, what you have happening now is on your control panel, let's say if you have the old school looking control panel, you still have the rocker switch. But what's happening is it's going to this hidden uh, smart controller board which has relays on it that sends power into the circuit that sends the electricity needed to light the LEDs. Um, so what you need to do in the new system is put the dimmer switch after the outputs of this relay. And I'll tell you a little bit about that but I don't want to say too much because uh, again you can cause some uh, more damage here and it's not as simple as a, of a mod as it once was. So moving on here um, what do these controller boards look like well what I've seen in a couple examples here in my experience working on other people's rigs is in the Grand Design Imagine 22 MKE um, you have your control panel here behind a door you've got your radio if you remove the control panel which means flipping the bezel off there's a little you can use a little can opener to kind of flip off the plastic cover piece that hides the screw heads and you'll see there's one, two, three, four screw heads after you use let's say a can opener in the lower right to pop that bezel off you'll see that hidden board here and the top wire on this particular board in this design there's several designs now please uh, use caution the, the first wire is the one that controls the interior lights this is the output side on the left side of this board is the input side that takes input from the actual touch screen that you see when you remove the four screws you see the actual smart board or the relay board as I call it back in the back side of the rig it may or may not be right behind the control panel it could be elsewhere if real estate is tight um, as another example the Grand Design Solitude 310 GK this is a fifth wheel it's a huge rig um, 
the controller board is slightly different up in the upper right corner it's not the same look as the one that's over on the 22 mke it actually has a four pin connector one of those four pins actually has wiring that goes to the one of the awnings that has the led lights over out on the roll tube and you can dim the lights that way too if you tap into that wire which is the output side again on the right side um, to dim those lights but you must leave the rocker switch that's on this control panel in its place it must be an on off command to this controller first and then after that once electricity is sent to that awning that's when you can dim so let's see a couple examples of what we did as far as what to do with the dimmer you can't use the adapter plate anymore you must leave old rocker switches in places in the place or if you have a touch screen you must leave that so what I did on the 22 MKE is there was space right underneath where I could just drill a small hole and I put the knob here that actually controls the dimming of the awning um, in the case of the Grand Design Solitude there was a couple of dummy panels for the slide outs that weren't being used so I just drilled a hole in one of the dummy panels and I put the dimmer switch into that place and again you'd have to turn this on first then control your dimming down here and that's how I controlled the interior lights so with that I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and remember to like and subscribe leave me some comments in the video below if you have any questions or comments or just email me at my email address John's DIY playground at gmail.com thank you so much for watching and have a great day this is John from John's DIY playground